Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to my room. Oh, hey, you caught me in my jolly ass in the middle of decorating for Christmas since, you know, Thanksgiving is over. I hope you had a great Thanksgiving. I hope you were able to separate your blue-haired liberal cousin from your racist uncle and everyone was able to sit down and be thankful we're not China. Yet. This video was super short and I was like, why is my video so short? And then I realized I got so heated about today's topic that I rushed into telling you about it without giving you a proper introduction. So that's what this is. I realized I was sending your subconscious mixed messages right off the jump. Now I have to ease you into today's topic. You'll be like, oh, look at all those Christmas decorations. Boom, child rape. So this is your warning. Take in the scene. Yeah, you like my tree? I put these little elves here as sort of like an elf on the shelf kind of thing. And look, a TARDIS. You know, because Doctor Who was the bee's knees back in the day with their Christmas specials. Not now, though. Doctor Who's gone woke and it's trash now. So I'm stuck watching reruns. I gotta get my wife into the show. You know, I'm working on it. And this is the season to be jolly. So do I have a gift for you? A pedophile was just arrested. That's the only good part of the video. It's downhill from here, so I hope you're sitting down for this. I have a story that's gonna piss you off today. A trans-identifying individual has just been charged with 14 felonies after threatening to shoot up Christian schools and rape little girls in the bathroom. He has admitted to being a pedophile and said if he catches your daughter in the bathroom, he will fuck them until they die. This story pissed me off for a laundry list of reasons, but none more than the fact that the media is quiet as fuck about it, and he was previously charged with a crime, but was released on zero dollars bond under the Safety Act. These people can literally get away with anything, and the only way to stop them is to wait until they already do something outrageous and hope the police get there in time to kill them. It's super annoying because they think they are quite literally at war, all because we won't let them use the women's bathroom. It's mentally unhinged. So let's get into the details of this story. But first, this video is sponsored by you guys and SeekingAsylum.net. Hit the link in the top of the description to get your hands on one of these looking ass boy shirts and tell people they an uncool looking ass boy for not having one themselves, like some sort of nerd in the back of the class looking ass boy. Anyways, let's get back to the video. Jason Lee Willie is a 47 year old pedophile, not to be confused with Jason Lee Willis, the author of such classics like The Alchemist Stone or The Fire Handler. No, we're talking about Jason Lee Willie, who was charged with 14 counts of interstate communication of a threat to injure, which I didn't even know was a crime, let alone a felony. The charges that were filed two weeks ago include threats to kill and rape children, inject people with HIV, and target black people. He's sending messages from Illinois to Virginia threatening to participate in school shootings and said the FBI won't do shit about it. Quote, We're out here walking into your schools, shooting your children, and I'm gonna tell you right now I'm gonna be one of them, and the FBI isn't gonna stop me. I'm gonna kill your children out here. End quote. He goes on to criticize the Republican Party and threaten to rape Christian daughters specifically specifically stating, quote, I'm openly a pedophile. You can't do nothing about us. You can cry, cry. Put me on national television. I don't care. I'm transgender. I'm in the bathroom raping your fucking daughters, and I'm openly letting you know this. The Republican Party, what are you faggots going to do about us? End quote. Now, normally I would write this off as some sort of troll. I would even entertain the idea that it was a Republican troll trying to make the transgender community look bad. I would even entertain that. You can't trust nobody out in these streets. If not for the fact that these statements came straight from the police report, like this is from the indictment. Charges were filed. This is legit. This is a real fake trans person, once again threatening our females. And it's this motherfucker. Like, th th I can't even roast you, okay? I just want to punch you in the face. I want to strangle you with your own intestines, string you up from a tree, and beat you with a baseball bat until candy falls out. Not because you're transgender, but because you're a pedophile, you understand? Pedophilia is not something we're just gonna normalize. Fuck you. Jesus Christ, it's fucking cold in my room! Additionally, he threatened women wearing cross necklaces, which, yes, threatens Christians, but it also also threatens women who aren't necessarily Christians who still wear the cross around their neck because it's cute or whatever. Those people are also in danger. Quote, I catch you bitches out here with a cross around your neck in that restroom. You better know we're going to hit you with a fucking syringe. A syringe of what? I don't know, but they're assuming that it's HIV. So he's a biological man waging biological warfare. He also threatened black people comparing them to white supremacy somehow. Which probably has something to do with the fact that more and more black people are endorsing Donald Trump and waking up from the BLM madness. You got black people reacting to woke absurd on YouTube, and he even mentioned Dave Chappelle by name because of the stand-up special The Closer, which responded to the aggressive movement of the alphabet community and declaring himself a member of Team Turf, or the Trans Exclusionary Radical Feminists, a term trans activists made up to win arguments. Once again, quoting Jason Willis, They're trash. They're Christian trash. They're transphobic. They're homophobic. They're no different than the fucking white supremacists. That's exactly who the fuck they are. Listen, Dave Chappelle and all the blacks out here, all the black people out here talking about trannies and shit, they ain't no different than the white supremacists either. You all bow 
to the same cross. He even celebrated the Nashville shooting where Audrey Hale killed six people, including three children. A person in Tennessee walked into one of your schools and shot up a bunch of your Christian daughters. That's not the last of them if you don't shut your fucking mouth. There's a lot of transgender people out here that are tired of being picked on, and we're gonna go into the schools and we're gonna kill their fucking children out here, and that's the end of it. We're at war. Let me put a bullet in your head. In response to the Nashville shooting, Jason Lee Willie warned of further attacks on Christian girls if actions weren't taken. These people are domestic terrorists and should be dealt with as such. You're not gonna get what you want by throwing a tantrum and threatening our daughters. We're not gonna be threatened into submission. In fact, it only means we're winning and we need to strengthen our resistance. It only means that we need to double down on these laws. We're seeing a pendulum swing back in the other direction and our opposition is panicking. They will continue to make mistakes like this until all the crazy ones are gone. In the meantime, I stand by what I said previously. We need to get rid of TikTok. Jason Lee Willis is set for trials January 16th after being released multiple times on zero dollars bond once citing the safety act and safety act I had to look this up has to do with police conduct so I'm pretty sure this person was acting a damn fool and then claiming the police were abusing him because he's quote unquote trans how many more of these people are there dude like when they say they're coming after our children apparently they don't mean abducting them into their cult they really want to kill our kids dude like Jesus Christ these people are demons I need a palate cleanser <coughs> Oh, look at all the cute puppies. <laughs> Anyways, I was hoping this video was going to be longer, but I spent way too much time decorating my house and not enough time looking up stories. But this one popped up and it was so serious that I couldn't not let you know about it. It's also super difficult to crack jokes when the topic is as serious as child rape. But I already know the media isn't going to cover this shit, even though it literally just happened. But this dude was talking to somebody. That's where these messages were going. So how many more of these people are out there, bruh? That shit is scary and you should probably homeschool your kids. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more commentary videos like this one you can go to seekingasylum.net to check out my merch collection and from there you can sign up to become a member of my patreon where you can play test video games that i'm developing you can also follow me on rumble or go to my music channel at nefarious music to check out some tunes that i make in between uploads and i'll see you in the next video i've been riding around town blowing loud with the window down oh shit new phone who this i'm just steady winning you can't even hurt my feelings homie oh shit new phone who this you can't ever slow me, half of y'all don't even know me, homie, oh shit New phone, who this? Don't you dare try to call me, cause I'm introverted, homie, better text me that shit New phone, who this?